uh, we're out here today. I just wanted to sh do a quick video on how I mounted my Garmin Striker 4 uh, <clears throat> depth finder. Just want to show you how I did it. Actually, I just have a nice piece of wood cutting across here. And I was able to, I already had this is made by Ram. It's very adjustable, so it worked out really nice. They also sell them at Bass Pro, same type, they're about $44. Uh, down here I got my battery box. And I can store my Garmin right in there with it. So what I'll do real quick here is I'll take it apart. What I was looking to do is, I, I, you know, I also use the canoe just for canoe trips with my wife. So I wanted to make something that was detachable without leaving, drilling a whole lot of holes into it. So here, let me, uh, I'm just gonna pull the, pull the holes out, the poles out. So what I have here also for the transducer is this is just a flag pole holder with PVC going down to uh, and it fit right into the transducer really nice. This way you can get in the shallow water. Coming up, you can just bring this up. And it's quickly out of your way. And really, you know, the boat only draws probably six inches of water, so it just has, to, I have it maybe a foot below the surface, and, that, and it works just fine with that. So with my pole, with the pole uh, rod holders on here, um, this thing kind of needed a little more support, so I just added a small little C-clamp. So take that off, along with these two thumb screws. back of the Garmin you got to disconnect the power lead and the transducer lead and with that pick it up take it completely off remove the battery and I'm ready for canoeing so that's it pretty much just lag holder a couple pole holders mounted the uh, Garmin unit on, ready to go. The only thing I'm going to add right now is just a small uh, plastic uh, tray in there. So as I'm changing lures, I can just throw them in there and let them dry out before I put them away. But that's it. Gar Striker 4 from Garmin. Really nice unit.